What is up, everybody? It's Billy Z. This is part four of Bloodborne, playing it on PS4. Um, I'm hoping everybody's enjoying this uh, series of walkthroughs um, and let's play videos. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to kill Gascoin. Um, I, in the last video, I showed you some more shortcuts and some secrets, easy ways to kill the, uh, kill the boar in the sewers. So I'm going to show you a kind of easy way to cheese Gascoin. So... Um, buy some Molotovs. You can only hold 10, so buy 10, if not buy more. Um, I'm gonna... I think we're good there. We got 20 vials. Make sure you're full. Um, one thing I didn't show you guys is up here there is... Here's your storage. So when you hit 20 of an item, 10 of some items, they get placed in here. So you hit R2. So this first screen is your inventory. You hit R2 to go to the inventory here. I have 12 blood vials, six of these and one Molotov. Um, that's pretty much the only thing I have in here because it's the only thing I found that really has an issue of, or a limit rather. So we're gonna see if we can fortify anything. I don't have enough shards. So let's go ahead and go fight Gascoin. And we're gonna head back to, again, Central Yarnum. Seems to be the uh, hot spot and the quick mobility around Yarnum. So, let's do it. And here are these dang loading screens again. Um, they're not too bad, actually. I know there's a lot of complaints about them. I mean, it is bland. I mean, oh, Bloodborne. Yeah, that's the game we're playing. Cool! But, we, uh... You deal with them. You, they come and go. If you're good like me, a pro, you don't see them very often, except when you transverse into the hunter's dream and back. All right. So again, Central Yarnum. We opened up this gate in the second video, maybe the first video. And then we opened up this door over here in the second and first video. So you just cruise on through. Don't worry about the guy to my right. And in this last video, part three, we opened up this elevator, which is right down here. And it makes it really, really easy to get to these guys. So just hop in and go down if the elevator's not there. For some people who haven't played, pull the lever or the lever and uh, it'll come to you. So if you guys remember, this is the bridge where the flaming ball comes at you. Just go ahead and go up here, pull aggro. And then kind of just take your time going back, don't get hit. And if you look this way, you'll see when the ball gets lit and when to run. <laughs> so just run back. Sometimes, very rarely, do they escape the ball of death. But if they do, dispatch anybody that's left. And let's go fight him. All right, so we do got a few guys in our way, though, between here and there. And it shouldn't be too bad. I guess my blunderbuss pulled the, uh, pulled it. Oh, ouch! You son of a bee. So when he does that, just back up, get some health, and go at it. We won't need full health for, or all 20 vials for gas coin. He'll either kill me before then, or... That one's gonna hurt. Whoa, you're getting feisty on me here, buddy. Also, that's one thing I've noticed in this dang game is sometimes, just sometimes, they uh, they get some more stamina somehow and just rip you to shreds, which is kind of annoying because it seems like at certain points you don't have a lot of stamina, but then at certain points they just have a ton. So these guys are kind of kind of a pain. Um, I'd like to try and pull them one by one, but the blunderbuss doesn't really allow for that. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna get one to kind of head back. Or get both in my... And then back up. There we go. Sometimes if you get them together, you can get both in your attack and uh, stuns them so they can't keep hitting you when you hit the other. All right, so those are the last enemies between here and the boss. There is an item over here, go grab it. 
And what I'm going to tell everybody, make sure you have your quick item set. Um, Molotovs. The oil urns, uh, throw that first, then throw a Molotov, and it... Um, it does more damage. So, also, we just got this in number three, the tiny music box. I haven't done it myself, but I've heard that when he turns to his final form, so this guy has three forms and he's kind of a pain in the ass, but when he turns to his final form, you use that and it'll stun him. All right, let's watch the cutscene. I'll go on mute real quick. It's kind of gross, just hacking heads off. It's a sweet axe, though. I'm so tired from just all of these head choppings. Bitch, you don't get to tell me what I'll be. I'll be... My mom said I could be whoever I want to be, alright? He's got fangs. What does that mean? Uh-oh. Alright, so this guy has a shotgun. Uh, one of the easy ways to kind of troll him, he can't hit you from above that. So, I just... You can sit here and just throw Molotovs at him. And it does, you know, 150 damage, whatever. Uh, but we're gonna go full health and get right up in his grill. So your best friend here is your roll. I don't know. You tell me. Uh, once he hits his final form, he can um, start breaking these tombstones. So just pay attention. Uh, he's a lot slower with this. Oh my goodness. Get out of there. Get out of there. Come here, bitch. I don't know how you didn't hit me there because I got stuck. Ooh, that one hurt though. Man, come on. No way. <laughs> I lived through that. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's fill up. Come on, you son of a bee, dude. My suggestion is, once you get low on life, just retreat and uh, fill up because he can do some devastating attacks. He can't hit you through those tombstones too, so just be careful. And there's his final form. Let's see if this works. It does, look at that. can get up on you too. So watch out. He breaks tombstones and he can fly across the screen. Shit. Yeah, on that one I should have just stayed attacking him. I tried to fall back and get health and hit the wrong button and played the music box. Idiot. But it's a pretty easy run back, so... No worries, no harm, no foul. We all die in Bloodborne at least once. Wow, these loading screens are dumb. Um, but to, to be honest, it's not bad. I talked about it earlier. It's not terrible. And this would be a good time to plug the super happy internet fun time. Uh, we do a show every every week. And we've done three already. If you haven't seen them, take a look. I think they're pretty funny. And we take on fellow YouTubers. So we take on actually people who want to get their name out, want to have some fun. And um, our first guest was in part three. So check it out if you haven't yet. Um, and subscribe. Hit the like button. Watch it.
we love doing it. We love uh, we love getting our stupidness out to you guys. <laughs> so it's it's a good time for everybody just to be silly and be um, have a good time. So don't come down here. I will I will smoke you. That's right. Walk away. Just walk away. All right. Let's do this. We were back full on our. Uh, on our blood vials, by the way, if you didn't see that, and our quicksilver bullets. Um, when you go back to the hunters, or when you die, sometimes it'll fill from your stock, which is kind of cool. Woohoo! I feel my butt hairs get singed on that one. Do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on down. Come on down. You're the next contestant on the prizes, right? Your prize is death. You don't want to get caught in that one. That one hurts. <laughs> Come here. Come here. I want to give you a hug. I just want to hug you. Can we be friends? down. Ooh, shining coins. That'll be nice. You're dead. You are dead, sir. <laughs> and that's how you do that. See, you get so many items from these guys. So many blood vials. All right, so let's do it. We're not gonna cheese him on this one. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stick to what I know. Stick to what I know. Also, one thing to note, once you're out of that cutscene, he is right on your butt, so be ready to dodge. And somehow, even though he's stunned, he can still shoot that damn blunderbuss at me. Come here, bitch. Ah, get out of there. Get out of there. I'm coming for you, though. Fucker. And see, you guys can see my... my body over there. Oh, he's pissed now. Be like that. Be like them apples. Be like that right on your face. Come back here. I got something to say. Oh, you hurt. Stop it. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out. Oh, stuck. Get out of there. Ugh. Son of a bee. <laughs> that hurt. What pastors would really like this guy? That'd be crazy. Get out of there. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. because he can't break through the trees. He can break through all these tombstones, though. Heal up. My my secret when I first fought this guy is how his legs. It's, I like to, as a melee fighter, it's pretty much what I use. And then back up for health. Oh, get out of there. Stop. Time 
right there. Alright, where are you at? Run, 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 fool, run. I think I did it. Yeah, yeah. All right, so part four killing gas coin. That's right. <laughs> Sit up there and put your hand up. Uh, like I said in part two, when I kill the cleric beast, they drop a lamp every time, which is your bonfire. So just light it up, and we're good. So at this point, I'm going to end the video. I hope everybody liked it. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Um, like I said in my last video, we have 60 subscribers now, and I want to say thank you guys. Thank you so much for supporting everything that we're doing here. Um, if you really enjoy it, spread the word, tell your friends, and... Let's continue making, you know, making some good videos, making some good memories. And as always, everybody, stay classy.